Yesterday was the uh, mocha porter. Today will be the hazelnut brown nectar ale with natural hazelnut flavor. 650 mil. We're at 6.2%. And these guys have all kinds of info on their bottles, like the IBUs and everything, which is uh, 33. So I. Here's what it looks like. Uh, this was not cheap at the store I got it from. The store I got it from. Hold on. This beer cost me $8.50. Up here in Canada. <laughs> it might be expensive where you, where you are. If you know, leave a comment. Let me know if this is expensive everywhere. I went to a... Oh, lots of carbonation in this one and the last one. Holy smokes, that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. We can pour it without a. Uh, there's quite a bit of foam in this one too. Take it easy, folks. Oop. Fuck out. Oh no. Having beer sedents here. slow but the other one was pretty good this is the uh, I've never had a rogue before I've heard lots about it and you may have heard lots about it and never had the opportunity to try it or whatever um, so I'll have a lot of foam in there fist ahead okay All right, let's check this out Well, it smells kind of like uh, bready or something. Like uh, you can uh, maybe it's the hazelnuts in there or something. Hazelnut spread. Just like Christmas time. Holy smokes. That is awesome. There's a lot of flavor in that beer. Um, that's uh, quite a bit of bitterness too. Like not a ton, but it's like there's bitter. There's definitely bitter there. You can taste the hazelnuts like crazy. Like this is awesome. But it's like a hazelnut chocolate or something. It's like a candy, but it's not amazingly sweet. It's just... It's just like that. It's cool. So far, I don't know anything about Rogue, but I've only had two of these. This is my second beer, and it seems like these guys are really good at blending flavors. And, like, <clears throat> still having them, uh, you still kind of pick out what they are a bit and stuff. And there's an ingredient list on here. It tells you what kind of barley and everything they use on here. So it's uh, two row American brown Karistan, whatever that is, uh, crystal 7080, and um, bore crystal that's uh, 135 to 60. Um, Beast and pale chocolate and a rogue microbrewery farms. Air Bolts, Rogue, Micro Hop Yard, Independent, and Revolution Hops, Hazelnut Extract, Free Range, Coastal Water, and Pac Man Yeast. Uh, a lot of the similar ingredients went into the uh, Mocha Porter as well. <clears throat> no chemicals, preservatives, or additives. Oxygen fixing caps. 
Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Established in 1988. I broke my glasses, that's why I have to stare at it that close, right? So, this is just tip top. Five minutes in, I'm just, I don't know, I just had a few drinks of this. The smell is great, the aroma. Starts out kind of sweet. It's sweeter in the middle. Then you get a lot of the flavors, a lot of the hazelnut, a lot of the brown stuff, like the brown malts, and maybe I think there was chocolate in here too. Maybe the, I might be wrong. I think it said there's even chocolate and whatever Karistan is. I don't know what that is. Karistan malts or something. I don't know. Weird. I am not authorized. Yeah. Great mouthfeel. Um, a lot. Um, all the carbonation goes to the head pretty much. A uh, great head on this beer. It's uh, lacing and stuff. This one has a little bigger bubbles than the uh, Mocha Porter. Uh, that's a slightly tan head on there. Uh, this beer is kind of very, very dark amber. <clears throat> Actually, it's like um, you can't quite see through it. It's uh, you can see through it, but just barely. Yeah, it is very, very red. An orangey brown. Yeah, uh, both those beers were, were quite sweet. Uh, the Mocha Porter, th th this one's <coughs> kind of sweet, and, and uh, that's the kind of beer don't be afraid to drink a little bit uh, a little bit warmer than what you take it out of your fridge at. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. As for the hops, probably something in the bitterness there. I'm not getting a whole lot of hop flavor that I can really pick out. Maybe a little bit in the smell. A little, little bit of hops in there. But, uh, not really picking up a whole lot of alcohol. Uh, very impressive beers. I see why they have the reputation. And the only reason I would drop any points off this is it's a little bit pricey, although I went to an expensive store to get it. Um, it's imported and all that. It's a 650 mil bottle, but uh, I would expect that to be more like uh, five, six bucks instead of 850. But for special treat, I highly recommend you, ha you should really have the Rogue experience. Uh, I think everyone, anyone who's into beer tasting and microbrew beer should should uh, should uh, take a shot at trying some rogue. You won't be disappointed, I don't think. These are the two. We got two more to try. We got the the yellow snow IPA and the oatmeal stout. Well, it's got a nice uh, kind of a lower carbonation -y ale mouth feel to it, which I really I like that. Uh, I like the lower carbonation -y ales. Um, it kind of reminds me quite a bit of a brown ale, but there's a lot of, uh, I think that's what it is. Actually, hazelnut brown nectar, so it is it is kind of like a brown ale, but it's a lot uh, sweeter than the brown ales I'm used to uh, most of the time. And uh, the hazelnut's a really good twist on that. That's a really good flavor to put in here. And I usually don't like flavored beers, but uh, these guys uh, seem to know what they're doing. Like I wouldn't, I don't like like a raspberry beer, <clears throat> but a chocolate porter is a pretty good idea, sort of thing. I mean, you know, a coffee stout would probably be all right too, something like that. I'm not into raspberry beer or strawberry beer or anything, or orange beer or anything like that. That that's kind of that's gonna be gross. I don't, I don't care what you say. The hazelnuts and a brown ale is a good idea. Ah, excellent. Uh, that's one hell of a, of a tasty beer. Uh, it's a savoring beer. It's expensive. Uh, but, you know, if you want to try a sweeter, darker uh, ale kind of treat, I um, highly recommend picking this up.
So I'm going to give him a final read. I'm just going to drink the Stein to keep this review uh, shorter, but I like to finish it and make sure it's holding up. It, it's doing a fine job of that so far. Perfect. Hasn't depreciated or anything. Uh, it's uh, quite viscous. Mm. I don't know if there's anything else left to say. It's very good. And I'm only going to drop him half a point for price. I'm going to give him a 10 and a half out of 11. Same I did. It's just as good as the Mocha Porter, which was excellent. So, 10 and a half out of 11. Pick it up, try it. Uh, spend an extra couple bucks and have the rogue experience. Bye now.